My name is Juan Munoz. I'm a student here at Longwood University. I'm a member of the men's basketball team and I'm a grad student. Thinking back to when you were a freshman coming in, you talk about the feeling of, of excitement of coming to Longwood, playing, getting, get, you know, beginning a college career. I was definitely excited. I've been dreaming about this ever since I started playing basketball, just to play at the Division One level. And to see that dream come true was just very exciting. I'd put in a lot of work, a lot of hours in the gym. And to see it come to fruition was amazing. What happened uh, with the first ACL injury? It's preseason freshman year. So what, what, uh, what were the circumstances? Uh, we were about a week out from our first game and we were going through a little scrimmage at the end of practice. I was coming off a ball screen and the defender's knee hit my knee and instantly something felt wrong. Felt like a whole leg went numb and uh, I knew something was wrong, but I really kept it to myself for a little bit. And then eventually I had to see a doctor probably a couple of days later and found out that I tore my ACL. So the timeline of recovery and rehab for you, what was all that like? It was difficult. You know, the first time it was about nine months. So first two or three months just spent about just trying to figure out how to really walk again, turn the corner and figure out my jogging motion, running motion. And then the last probably six months were just me really getting back into shape. Being sidelined for the first time, this is the first time I had a major injury. So encouraging my teammates wasn't too hard, you know. Um, I wanted them to um, succeed and be great. But at the same time, I wanted to be on the court as well. So um, it was just tough. It was really tough. Um, and on top of that, they would go home after practice, um, do whatever they had to do, but I would have to stay, um, rehab, ice, do all that stuff just so eventually I can get back to playing uh, the game that I love. Got on track to play the next year, and then it was the same ACL, right? Closed scrimmage. What what happened to this again? Yeah, same ACL, um, just different injury this time. So the first time was contact. Second time was um, I landed weird. Uh, I landed weird. And as soon as I landed, I felt a pop and I instantly knew right away it was my ACL. I felt I put in so much work the first time and just to have a landing that I did thousands of times uh, sideline me again, it was, it, it was pretty tough. This one was about 11 months. And I would say this one was a little bit tougher just because um, I had to really think about the workouts I was doing just because I thought the first time everything I was doing was right. We had a lot of talk about what kind of workouts I would do, um, different eating regimens, different sleeping patterns, just to make sure that when I did come back the second time that it'd be better for me. So the first couple of weeks before I had surgery, I was thinking about just hanging it up, um, just because I knew how long the rehab process was. I knew how long I'd be away from the game. My dad had said something to me um, before I had surgery. He was like, you know, you can be mad frustrated today, but after you get your surgery, um, I want you to attack this head on with everything that you have. This adversity was something I'd never been through before. And to fight through it and to do something I loved every day was just being taken away from me again. Um, really challenged me and my mental. And honestly, I, I, I'm glad I went through it um, just because it's made me a better person overall today. You finally recovered from the two injuries and coaching change. What were those conversations between uh, you and, and him in terms of what you could do, getting back on the court, and, and your, your readiness to play? Uh, I think the first thing was he just wanted me to get healthy first. So um, he was understanding in, in my rehab process. He knew um, it would take a little bit of time for me to get back to 100%. That's why I'm uh, grateful for him that he was just willing to deal with my uh, recovery process and my rehab process. Taking it back to the first game you got to play. You step on the court, you're, you're, in, the, you're in uniform, you're gonna go, you're coming off the injuries. What's going through your mind? What are you thinking and feeling at that point? Nervous, super nervous. Um, it had been two years since I'd been on the court playing an actual game. So uh, just the whole feel of the atmosphere, the crowd, the other team and the refs was just surreal overcome these injuries you've become one of Longwood's top players what what do you think you've learned from these experiences the lows and the highs just control what you can control really um, 
I couldn't really control my injuries, but I could control uh, the work I put in every day. And uh, that's what's helped me become uh, the player I am now and the player that I'm going to be. It's just the work that, um, that I put in constantly every day. What advice would you give to another student athlete who's dealing with overcoming injury? If you really love or are passionate about what you do, I would say just never give up, honestly. I was close to giving up about something that I really love to do every day. And I was just glad that I had people in my circle that really pushed me and really helped me stay on track and stay focused about playing basketball and doing that every day. So I would just say never give up and, and give everything 100% at what you can do.